I tried a pumpkin spice latte, and this is what happened. Yeah, it's okay. Every October, every November, every September, every fall, you have to deal with the pumpkin spice latte craze, especially if you're around uncultured white girls constantly. It's all they talk about. But perhaps I'm being too harsh. I mean, after all, there are leaves on the ground. Maybe I just need to get into the fall spirit. You know, maybe I should just try it before I start judging. I also have a gift card, so that's helping me justify this purchase. I also, I didn't really want to go in blind. I wanted to have somewhat of an expectation before I took my first sip. So I consulted the most trustworthy source in the land. I'm of course talking about BuzzFeed. Do you think it smells like weed? It smells like weed. Yeah. Thank you BuzzFeed for being so, so very, so very insightful. We are back. I have procured the goods. I must have used this like four years ago or something because I ended up actually having to pay some of my hard earned money. I had to put $2 towards this latte. This better be worth it. First, let's answer the big question. Does it smell like weed? Mm. No. <laughs> I do not know at all what that lady was thinking. There's there's zero connection there. I don't, this is, whatever, this, to each his own. Perhaps she got hit on the head as a child. I don't know. All right, here's our first sip ever. Hmm. Yeah, it's fine, I guess. Yeah, it's okay. It's kind of, uh, it's, yeah, it's bad. It's not good. I mean, I'm gonna drink it because I paid $2 for it, but I'm not happy about it. Three out of 10, and that's the best I can do. It's not that it's particularly horrible, but it's really just disappointing. Just go get a normal cup of coffee and enjoy your life like you normally do. I wish I had more to say. I I'm, di I'm as disappointed as you are. I thought this was gonna be a miracle. I'm happy that I'm not a part of this culture that frequents Starbucks. And I've only been solidified in my reasons to avoid this company. 